Brooke is an overcomer, a great listener. She's compassionate. She's a problem solver. She's a peacemaker. I'm so proud of you, Brooke, and so excited for you to become a wife and possibly a mother and whatever else God has for you in the future. When Brooke was young, Teresa and I prayed that she would meet someone like you. And you have been an answer to our prayer. Um, you have a heart for God. You unconditionally love Brooke. Uh, you're a hard worker. Uh, you love your, your nephews, Lil Gavin, Max, Leo, and Noah. Um, it's just been so neat to have you as part of the family. Uh, I'll skip over the part of, well, no, I gotta tell the part where yeah, a little dust up with one of the neighbors sticking up for Leo. Him and Teresa had, had little words with each other and apparently he's more afraid of her than me, even though I'm the one with the firearms. I don't, <laughs> I don't get that. Uh, John, we're so excited and thankful that you are a part of our family. We love you. I, John, take you, Brooke, to be my wife. I, Brooke, take you, John, to be my husband. I promise to be spontaneous. To cherish each moment. To be fair. To be willing to try new things. To witness your beautiful life. To always take time for us. To be your biggest fan. To laugh together. To love you with actions, not just words. And to encourage you to chase your dreams. I now pronounce you husband and wife. And John, you may kiss your bride. adventurous, just thrill of a person, my Brookie. The special thing about her, and I think that everyone who knows her would agree, is she makes those around her fearless too. No one else would have gotten me to do the things that we did when we were kids. She makes those around her want to walk through life with that unwavering confidence of hers. And that word certainly applies to her journey and her growth to where she is today too, even more so. There aren't really words to describe, I think, collectively our pride for your bravery as a family, but it's big, it's a lot. Enter our hunky groom, John. The relationship that I witnessed in the past few years has been a complete and total joy to watch. You two are there for each other, you support each other, you stand by each other, and you defend one another. And what's amazing is that she has found her person who can do that for her too. And that's a tall order, but luckily you're a tall guy, so. Very proud to be standing next to these two today. And with that, I'd like to raise our first glass 
to the beautiful couple, Brooke and John. I've known John for 10 years. We've been through a lot together. A lot of stories I was told not to tell. But John's been through a lot, and I'm proud of you for who you are now. And Brooke, you bring the best out of John. You're a wonderful person. I'm very happy you two have each other. I love you both, to John and Brooke. <laughs> I love you both more than I can put into words, and I'm so incredibly proud of you. The both the obstacles you continue to overcome together with such grace. You may both be younger than me, but I truly look up to both of you. I feel so thankful to watch my sister marry the man of her dreams, and I'm genuinely happy that you found each other. I want to thank you, John, for your patience with our family, your generosity, and the joy you've brought all of us. Thank you for loving her just how she is and for showing her what true love is and friendship. You're amazing, brother. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will keep your paths straight. Laugh a lot, love a lot, and I love you both. Here's to Brooke and John.